Our contestants have until the end of the show to prepare their very own movie masterpiece using all the tools at their disposal. The golden joystick will go to the contestant whose finished work displays the greatest amount of entertainment value, creativity, and flair. And splitting the very sides of heaven fantastically open with a directorial debut, two blokes who are so funny we don't even mind the fact that Fist of Fun is on the BBC, Stuart Lee and Richard Herring. Yeah. Welcome to the show, Richard. It's a delight for me. Now, uh, first of all, Stuart, just tell us exactly how funny you two are. Four. <laughs> okay. On the comedy scale, you're all aware right. of it. Out of how much? Uh, about five or six, about probably. Five. It's like the Richter scale. Yeah. So that's quite, that's quite a good start. Yeah. yeah. That is. And, um, you've never directed anything before, no? That is correct? No. But you are going to be tonight? Yeah. Yeah. And I want to know, obviously, it was only last year that you exploded on a television. I don't use that word lightly. Um, so maybe some of our viewers, they need to know a little bit more about you. So tell us one interesting fact they wouldn't know about you, Stuart. Oh, uh, I used to uh, work as a researcher for a gardening company. <laughs> yeah. Was that a lot of fun? Yeah, it was good, actually. Much laughter action? No. No. But, you know, people often say uh, that's an unusual career move, going from that into comedy. And it is, they're right. It's an unusual <laughs> career move. So, okay. Yeah. Uh, Richard, the, almost every woman I know yeah. fancies Stuart. Yeah. None of them fancy you. Why is that? Well, it's because I'm the funny one and I have him along to just right. get girls interested in watching it. And actually, they do really fancy me. Do. Also, I've deliberately kept myself ugly because then the beautiful women I get off with, their beauty is just heightened next to my ugly body. I'm buying exactly the same with myself. <laughs> I like to add. Well, you've got to get the films done before the end of the show, yeah. so I can't keep wow. you in long. If you'd like to crack on, move over to the computers, please. Okay. There's an air of great concentration here. We have the dangerously attractive Stuart Lee and the quite simply funny Richard Herring trying to make their own movie by the end of the show on Director's Lab. Now, Stu, how are you getting on? What have you got for us so far? Uh, I'm uh, base in mind around a theme of uh, insects and children eating. This kid eating, that's brilliant, look at it. She's having a right old monster, a fabulous isn't she? Image, yeah. Bless her. Right, Richard, what about you? What are you going for? Um, good question. Richard Herring presents. Yeah, that's good. What that's kind good. of presents I've are got, they? Uh, well, it's got presidents in it, in fact, and uh -huh. so far I've got uh, Ronald Reagan oh, there. Like that. <laughs> Finally, my fellow Americans, See, that's a satire for the American political <laughs> system there. Almost a lampoon. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm probably not going to do this, I'm just messing around. Right, but you have some top sound effects in there. I do, yeah. Where do you get that one from? They're all over the place. That oh. is a fantastic sound effect, yeah. I'd copy his work, but it'd be ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I work mainly in the sound medium, which isn't very good for this. OK, well, we'll leave uh, Liam Herring beavering away. Meanwhile, we do have one special challenge on today's show. Let's go over to Games Master and find out what it is. OK, like me, you're probably wondering, I wonder how those fine young lads, Lee and Herring, are getting on at Director's Lab at this point in time. Let's go and find out. Oh, and I hope the films have improved, because they're a bit duff so far. I wonder if we can get rid of them. So, Stuart and Richard have only got about five minutes left. Stuart, how's your <laughs> one progressing? Are we still on the uh, insects and children? Yeah, but and food now as well. But moves on to food as well. I'm never going to get it done in time. Any any uh, saucy sounds for us yet? No, I haven't even thought about the sound medium. Rich has been racing ahead in sound, but I haven't, I haven't begun. <laughs> right, Richard, how are you getting on? Um, Anything new to very the badly indeed. Uh, yeah. My satire Morning. is continuing. Like, it's it's the American really government. Well, he's trying again. to bring down the American <laughs> government using this program. <laughs> it's not going to work. Let's face it. Well, what a what fine forum this show is for advancing your own political career. Still, yeah. 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 many people have we're, said that. Many reviewers. We're very, we're very political comedians, you know. <laughs> and so we're going to, we're, we're going like, to show we like them politics. We're like the new Rory Bremner as we are, but we <laughs> use cartoons instead of. Yeah. Uh, funny voices. Okay, right, well you've got a few minutes left and we are going to stop Lee and Herring while we uh, finish up these films and we'll take a look at today's reviews. Okay, both Stuart and Rich's films are quite literally in the can. Uh, we're going to get Stuart up first to talk, talk us through his. <laughs> right, thanks. Okay, Stuart, this is your movie. Yeah, it's called Repulsion. Um, the problem with this program, I think, with the game, is that you don't have access to like any repeated images of the same characters. So, 
you can't work within a narrative frame where you have to just use abstract images. As in, we'll see. Uh, <laughs> what does that the... mean? The next one is that? You can't tell a story. Right, okay. So I've tried to deal with the idea of food as a kind of poison. Uh -huh. Okay, here goes Stuart from Stuart Lee's Skies Repulsion. Take it away, Stuart. Okay, well, there's not much to say here. In the <laughs> foreground, we see there's worms, right? Various images of food behind and someone eating a lot. That was a mistake, that little cat. <laughs> and uh, there's more food there. Yeah. More the food behind. And, and that's unpleasant all, food. There's worms this, again there. Does this have any meaning? Yeah, it means, you know, you know when you feel really sick and you hate the idea of eating, but you still do. That's kind of what it's about. Right. That's oh. the bit. We had to put that bit in. That's <laughs> the bit we, we said, but I, but I tried to make it relevant by putting a sort of toilet flushing sound under it. Right, I like that. Under bit, it. That's <laughs> my favourite bit, That was a great bit. Um, you know. And it ends. And that was the ending. That's the end. Nice way it did all come together at the end. Well, all it, the it, it ends. Right? <laughs> it's got a definite end. It's when it when it goes black. Yeah. That's right. the end. <laughs> okay, well, Stuart, let's go over to Games Master for his adjudication. I'm afraid I fail to see any merit in that pathetic excuse for a movie. The endless repetition of the same material seems to indicate a complete lack of creative talent. I award it one out of ten. And you can consider that generous. A very poor score, then, for, <laughs> for Stuart Lee. Okay, Let's see if uh, Richard Herring's film fares any better. OK, Richard, take us through it. Start your film. Right, once again, we have the narrative problem, so I've Morning. used uh, juxtapositions finally, here to satirise America. OK, President Reagan now? Yeah, you have to listen oh. to the people oh. saying speeches. I only want your brains. It's the President. A funny madness face. He, he, each time the juxtaposition parodies the present or does it. And there's that clip we have to this. This bit's coming is good to watch this bit in a minute. Hello. That's good to see. That's very good. That was very good. So that was worth the uh, admission fee, that one. That's <laughs> me. See, but wait, because look. Uh huh. This film is a satire of satire. This is, a, I'm having a go at Rory Bremner here. <laughs> right. And people like him who think satire is a clever art form. <laughs> And there you go, and laughing, it. you see. It was a satire of satire in the it end. Ah. A satire of satire. Got for, you. Uh, for viewers at home who are perhaps a bit too young to understand what a satire of satire <laughs> means, it basically means it's rubbish. <laughs> and uh, then Steve, though, trying to come up with an excuse <laughs> uh, to, <laughs> so that we think that it's actually good. Ah, so, no. But Don't the big you see? <laughs> ah. But I may be wrong there. But the big question is, so at the end of the day, it doesn't actually matter what I think of it, Richard. Yeah. It is up to Games Master. Good. So let's go over to him for his adjudication. Well, I doubt it'll be sweeping the Oscars next year, but at least it demonstrated a rudimentary understanding of how to entertain an audience, albeit a very stupid one. I shall award it two out of ten. So Richard's score is still pretty poor on two, but, uh, but enough to beat Stuart. Yeah. Stuart, I mean... I'm not uh, happy about it. You're not happy well, I mean, with your score? I don't see where the Games Master gets the power to judge it. I mean, it's all right, you know, normally it's like a score, so he can decide who's won, but mm. you're asking him to make an aesthetic value judgment about something, and I don't think that is within his power <laughs> to do right, so. Though, you're well, only saying that because you lost. Arguably, he... No, I don't think he was he right was at all. Right. He's, you know, he's, not, <laughs> he's not a palm door judge, is he? He's well, you did manage to plug the video, though. Yeah, I did that. I forgot to plug the CD and the book and the T-shirts and the pants. Richard Herring action doll. And toothbrush, yeah. Everything. Yeah. Just, I, just, oh no, I, no, I won't come on this again. No, <laughs> we won't ask you after that. Oh, that was know. that was quite pitiful. Uh, I have to say. I thought it was oh, all right. Yeah. No, we clap this back. I thought yours was pretty rubbish as well. <laughs> <laughs> Richard, it's it's still hundred percent better than his though. Wasn't no, it, it was. Well, it's a uh, presentation time, and uh, so the winner of the special blocks on film, Golden Gates Master Joystick, is Richard. <laughs> Okay, that's all we've got time Yay. for. That's the end of the show. Remember, everyone at home, life is like a pair of pants. If you don't start to change it, they can smell. Bye-bye. Mm.